Hi, I'm Luke from Weaveworks, and today I'm going to show you how you can plug Weave Cloud into a Kubernetes cluster created by Rancher in order to enable visualization, monitoring, and continuous delivery. So to start with, here we have a Kubernetes cluster which I've created on top of Rancher on AWS. Rancher has helpfully installed Kubernetes on this cluster and set it up with lots of best practice tooling already. But Kubernetes on its own doesn't have everything I need to really quickly go around the software development lifecycle. So let's see how easy it is to plug Weave Cloud into this Kubernetes cluster. For starters, I just go to the Kubernetes CLI here, and then inside my Weave Cloud account, I just copy and paste this one command, and I paste it into the Rancher shell here. And as soon as I hit Enter, that will deploy and install all of the Weave Cloud agents that are required. Then when I look in Weave Cloud, I'll see that my Weave Cloud agents are connected like this. And then to begin with, I can go and explore my cluster just to get an idea of what's actually running there. So now I can see all the different containers that make up the Kubernetes cluster that Rancher has deployed for me. And I can zoom in and sort of take a look around. So for example, I can see this nice triangle here is the etcd database that's running at the heart of the Kubernetes cluster. And if I look at uh, one of the etcd nodes, for example, I can see that it's talking to all the other etcd databases. So this is interesting, but it's more interesting when I start looking at an application. So instead of looking at all the containers running on these machines, I can instead just look at the controllers um, in the sock shop namespace. So the sock shop is an application that I've already deployed to this cluster. And I can see here the structure of the application um, based on the, the network connections that are happening between all the different nodes. If I go to the sock shop here, then I can see this is the actual application uh, running on this cluster. Now, I have a problem with this application. There's an issue with it. Now, um, you might be able to notice that when I reload the page, this top bit loads really, really quickly. But the problem is that the rest of the page takes a long time to load. And if I was really selling socks on the internet, then of course I'd know that this was a real problem. So what's going on? I'm going to use Weave Cloud's monitoring tool to actually dig into what the problem is here. And I can use a query that looks a little bit like this. I can run this as a graph. If I zoom in, then I can see that there are some outliers in terms of the performance on this cluster. So most of the services are pretty quick. They respond to API requests within a few tenths of a second at most. But then there are two of these services that are being really slow. Um, the first one is the front end, and the second one is the catalog. Now, it makes sense that the front end is being slow because all the requests are going through that. But it looks like it's the catalog service that is to blame for our low performance on loading the home page. So now I'm going to go to the deploy feature in Weave Cloud, and I'm going to use this to go to the catalog service. And oh, look, it's currently running on the slow version of the catalog service. So I'm going to use Weave Cloud to deploy the fast version of the catalog service. It's figured out that it should add the fast version and remove the slow version. That sounds good to me. And by the way, notice that I've got an alert that just popped up in Slack telling me that at 3.18 PM, uh, that was just now, um, that Flux, which is the component in Weave Cloud which does this releasing, uh, released the, the fast version to the Sock Shop catalog. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to go back to the Sock Shop. And let's see if the home page is loading more quickly now. Awesome. It looks like the home page is loading much faster now. So let's go into Weave Cloud Monitor. So there's a marker here that shows us when the release happened. And if we zoom in, then we can see that the y-axis here has gone really low. And we're now looking at much better latencies on all of the different services, especially that's the catalog being nice and quick. Wonderful. It works. So try plugging Weave Cloud into your Rancher Kubernetes cluster today. It gives you powerful tools for exploring and visualizing, deploying, and also monitoring the applications that are running on your cluster. Thanks for watching.